hello everyone i welcome you all to our channel let's learn automation and in this session we are going to see the hierarchical inheritance so uh, until now we have seen the different types of inheritance like single then multi level then how multiple inheritance is not allowed in java so let's try to understand the hierarchical inheritance now uh, let's see the diagram for it so for example if we have one class like this and there are multiple child classes so like this and now everyone try to access the properties of the super class so this is called a hierarchical inheritance so this is what the a and we can say that b1 b2 b3 b4 so this is what the structure of hierarchical inheritance where there will be one super class and multiple subclasses are available so all this b1 b2 b3 b4 access can access the properties of a class but the thing is that b1 cannot access the properties of b2 class okay this is allowed but this is not allowed even b3 cannot access the properties of b uh, b2 or even b3 cannot access the properties of b4 because there is no connection between these child classes or the subclasses so this is the diagrammatical structure of hierarchical inheritance uh, now let's create one class so for example we'll create like some example let's say parent this is one class then example child one this is another class then child 2 is the another class and again we will create one more child so there will be one parent and three child so these are the our classes so this is our, our parent class now again we will use the same example so parent class ca can have the method like home here we will write down home and also parent can have car now this is what the first child so this child can have mobile so I can say mobile 1 so Samsung then the child to also have the same property like mobile to where I will use g and this having its own property like apple so these are the three child classes and one parent class now what we need to do we need to connect all these classes so this child class will be extended to the parent class so like example parent then again the child 2 also extends to example parent again I can copy the same thing So we make the connection between the all the four classes now I can create uh, the object of child class like the child 1 child 2 and child 3 but the problem is that if I try to create the object of child 1 class here so here I need to create the one main method like this main method then I will create the object of this child so like here 
like c1 equals to new and here c1 dot home then c1 dot car and c1 dot mobile one and now you can see if i try to call the method of child 2 class that is mobile 2 so mobile so i cannot access the method of child 2 class because there is no interconnection or there is no connection between the okay there is no connection between these two classes so that's why there that is not possible so the problem is that if i try to create the main method in any child class then i need to create the three main method or the number of main method as per the number of child class we have so main method in here main method in child class 2 even the main method in child class 3 so that is not feasible or that is not a good practice so better what we will do we will create the main method into the another class so for example i will create one more class name it like ex example test and now here I will create the object of every class so for example example child c1 equals to new like this then Let's create the all the object two three this is for two two again two and sorry three and here two three so one two three one two three and one two three so now we have created the object for all the child classes over here and now we can call c1 dot home then c1 dot car then c1 dot uh, i can say mobile one now i will use one separator over here okay and now i will call c2 dot c2 dot home then c2 dot car then c2 dot mobile again i will use the same separator and now c3 dot home c3 dot car and c3 dot mobile so now i try to call the method all the method of parent class by using the child class 1 object child class 2 and child class 3 object so if i try to execute this then i will get home okay i haven't changed here there should be car so now if i execute it again so home car samsung home car lg and home car apple so in this way we can make use of hierarchical inheritance where there will be one super class and multiple subclasses but the remember uh, but the thing is that this is more suitable or more practical because otherwise we need to create the main method in child class one because uh, this object can call its own method and the parent method even we need to create the main method over here too and here too but if we create the main method in a separate class then one main method will be useful to call all the method of classes so this is what the hierarchical inheritance thank you